Hi guys, so we are at Zemi Beach House in Anguilla. Oh yeah, beautiful <laughs> boutique hotel. It's actually on the northwestern side of the island. In this video, we're gonna highlight our stay at the luxury Zemi Beach House. You have the exquisite spa, unique rum tasting, we have a culinary experience, we have the relaxation pool, the tranquil Shoal Bay East Beach, as well as the room. We hope you enjoyed this video. Leave us a thumbs up and leave us a comment. You know you're in the Caribbean when your welcome drink is a rum punch. We arrived later than anticipated yesterday. We had some hiccups with the entry. We'll explain that at the end of the video. So today we're going to take a very first look at the property. First stop is the Semi Thai House Spa. Look at this. Wow. Keep watching, oh, you don't want to miss cool. our full experience at this awesome very spa. Neat. The tour continued passing by the secluded adults pool, the infinity pool area, as well as the gift shop. Lux travelers, check out this bay. This is so beautiful. This is Show Bay East. What a beautiful bay. A perfect place to relax and just be pampered. You have some palm trees, lounge chairs, umbrellas for those who want less sun. This is actually my favorite beach because the water is crystal clear and uh, there are lots of restaurants and other activities on the beach. What do you think? Yeah, I mean the sand is really powdery, soft and white sand. I mean look at the water, just beautiful shades of blue, turquoise blue today, it's super calm. So yeah, like Marvin says, there are like multiple establishments along this beach. So, you know, if you're not staying, at um, Zemi House, you can still come and enjoy this beach. Oh yeah. Sure. It's now time to restore our minds, our body, and our soul. Oh yeah. This morning I had a beautiful yoga session. Alright. And now it's time to have a beautiful massage at the Thai um, house oasis. So it is so nice here. We just came out of the Amman at the relaxation area. Yeah. So you guys know like spa is like babe's favorite. That's right. Chill mode. <laughs> Huh? 
Thank you. Hello. Morning. Hello. How are you? Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Whoa. Thank you so much. massage was everything maybe my favorite massage I've had ever ever yes it was incredibly special so I mean they really did it up for us but I mean the masseuse both of them just really wonderful techniques I mean really work on my king so I, I just felt so good and the massage table was really nice it adjusts to your lumbar spine you can sit up and so forth with it so very nice I mean just imagine being massaged in this 400 year old barn from Thailand that's now here in Antigua in, in, in Anguilla excuse me in Anguilla just absolutely perfect uh, Amory is the only one in Antigua I'm in Anguilla <laughs> But uh, Masu's Surya was awesome, really great technique, and I uh, really love it. How was Petal? Petal, as I just said, amazing. It was okay. amazing. And and then after we got the Thank fries, you. Uh, this fruits and this juice bars and a beautiful bouquet. I mean, we're in heaven. Awesome. So I just finished my first come on experience and it was wonderful my skin right now so it feels like velvet velvet velvety smooth so she um soaked me with the moroccan soap then she exfoliated my skin and she put a mask on and with the steam from the hamon i mean just totally purifying your skin and detoxifying all the impurities are gone so feel wonderful <laughs> And now we are enjoying the Smurf Blue Champagne. So this is pretty neat. We've never seen the blue one before. So and it tastes really nice as well. So hey. This is my happy room. Oh yeah. <laughs> I think this is like my favorite room in the entire hotel. So, do you understand this is like his happy place? Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, oh, yeah. I just love the room, but this is like, this flight stuff is like his happy place. And Princess is gonna get us straight. She's <laughs> getting prepared, so. I don't know if she's gonna be able to get you straight. Because you might not be straight after this. <laughs> Taste it. Good point. Good point. Bye. It's gonna be nice afterwards. <laughs> A nice night. And then after so this. In front of you, you have Guadalupe, Venezuela, Trinidad and Tobago, Guyana, and Guatemala. Okay. So you have one French, two Spanish, and two English ones. Okay. So basically, the French, the English, and the Spanish, they have different ways and different methods of aging your arms, uh -huh. or even um, crappy fermentation. The French they use fresh pressed sugarcane juice, whereas the English and the Spanish they use the byproducts of sugarcane, which is sugarcane honey or molasses. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Caracara, this is aged eight years. Eight years? Yes. Um, fresh pressed sugarcane juice and it's double barrel. They use cognac and bourbon barrels to age this rum. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You know how to taste, right? Alright. You want me to go first? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> wow, very smooth, very sweet. I can actually taste the sugar cane. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Santa Teresa, 1796 from Venezuela. This one here is a blend rum, also, it's called Solera. Solera is basically um, a technique of aging. So, the LS rum in this here is up to 35 years. So they use different rums, different ages, but the LS rum is 35. Mm -hmm. It's finishing Spanish sherry vibes. Okay. Yeah. 
So that, that one, the base is um, molasses. Molasses. Oh, I know. I need a wrong kind of source now. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah, that one is actually stronger than this one. Oh. It's, and I do taste the molasses too. Yeah. Yes. All right. It's sweeter. But I, I don't actually taste the molasses though. No? No. Maybe I drank too much today. <laughs> you got to clean your palate in between with the water, babe. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Let's try this again. <laughs> Round two. Hold on, folks. <laughs> Stand by. <laughs> All right. Maybe that's why it tastes quite similar. Mm -hmm. I think being from the Caribbean, rum, sugar, molasses, Tastes quite similar to me. <laughs> so I'll give you, you say molasses, I'll say sugar, but molasses and sugar are close. Yes, yes absolutely. <laughs> you pass. Okay, so now we go to Guyana, Eldorado 21. This age 21 years. This one is um, made from Demerara sugar. So it's brown sugar. It's um, different from the other brown sugar, you know, it's more greeny thicker, so that is where Demerara sugar is originated from, Guyana. Okay. Yes, it's further down South America. Yes. Yeah. 21 years. Guyana! <laughs> I haven't been there, but I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> Smooth. I don't have an aftertaste of anything. No. Uh, I do taste the dry fruit that you guys yeah. have mentioned it. Yeah. Finishes long. Yeah. Nice. Guatemala. Ron Zappa 23. So that one here is made from virgin sugarcane honey. Uh huh. And um, it's a blend rum just like the Venezuelan one and it's also Solera. Sure. So the eldest rum in this here is 23 years. And um, to age this one, the master blenders, they call themselves, actually aged this at 2,300 feet above the equator. Whoa. Okay. Yes. Uh, okay. Yeah. 2,300 feet above the equator. Does it have a coffee type hint to it? Yes, it does. Okay. Nice, babe. Yeah. You're doing really good with your rum. Oh, I'm yeah. impressed. <laughs> Impressive. You pick up the coffee. Oh, yeah. And remember, this one I actually <laughs> got through my nose first before yeah. I even tasted it. So it's, I think it's very strong, but it's strong but light at the same time. Yeah. So, you know, it still goes down smoothly, but very light. And it's not as sweet as some of the other ones. Okay. See, I like, that's your favorite? Ah, uh, maybe this one is my favorite. Santa Teresa. Princess, how, uh, how many varieties of rum do you normally carry? We usually carry about 135 rums. Uh-huh. rum we have. Ah! Yes. Appleton 50. Yeah, Can we see that bottle? Sure. It's $650 a shot. Whoa. It's aged 50 years. It was released for Jamaica's 50th independence. Okay. So only 800 bottles were made. Each bottle is actually numbered. Uh-huh. Okay. What number is that? This is number 600 of 800. Okay. Closely, it's right here. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So tonight we're going to check out Stone 
It's their fine dining restaurant. Oh, yeah. It's Asian inspired with like um, Caribbean influence. So we're looking forward to it. It's a beautiful ambiance, so you can hear the jazz in the background, and we have a pre-starter and some delicious cocktails. So, cheers, Anguilla! Anguilla is the culinary capital of the Caribbean, or so they say. So this is 20 knots, so they have a pretty awesome breakfast. So you have a selection of fruits, cheeses, meats, vegetables, and you can pretty much sit inside or outside. Zemi Beach House also have theme nights, so this particular night was a Mediterranean night with live music. Welcome to Zemi Beach. My name is Tunero. Come on down. We're waiting for you. Come take a visit. All right. Come and see us. You heard him. This is a main infinity pool where all the action is. Pretty nice area. Lots of seating, um, day beds, cabanas, and right here on the beach and the water. So really overlooking this beautiful bay. Um, the staff at the pool, so amazing. Anything you need, they were right there. Meanwhile, the adults pool area is pretty laid back. Um, it's quiet, so lots of seat in here and just relaxation areas. So we're gonna show you around our King Ocean View room. So we enter, so on my left, you have a working desk and you have a double closet. There's a bathroom there as well. We'll show you that in a moment. But let's take a look at the room itself. So this is the room, very unique type of furniture. So if you check out the, the nightstand, the headboard, very unique and maybe a little bit empty. Um, nice size bed here um, in the bathroom. So you have a small vanity here with double sinks. So this is actually um, 
stone. It looks like it's wood finish, but you have a double mirror here. On uh, this um, left side, you have a vanity, so uh, with a chair, so uh, and a makeup mirror as well. You have the your shower, rain shower, you know, babe's favorite. You have a deep soaking tub, and then check out the faucets here. The same type of unique um, bronze, bronze type um, finishes that I've seen. And then you have the toilet room on that side. All right, so let's continue towards the balcony. So this is our balcony, and we have a very private balcony thanks to these very tall palm trees. And then check out the, our view of the show bay and the ocean. So today is a beautiful day and the ocean is so calm there. Also, our room overlooks this beautiful, tranquil and relaxing adult pool. And also there's a lap pool at the end of that um, infinity adult pool. Hey Lux Travelers, if you're traveling with your family or a large group, we want to show you this three bedroom beachfront suite option. So fully equipped with a kitchen, a dining room area, a sitting area, plunge pool, and the best part is this absolutely Stunning view of Shoal Bay East. Absolutely incredible. So Whoa. check this out guys. Today, I mean, the water is picture perfect. This Whoa. is Anguilla. <laughs> oh yeah, it's um, whenever we're leaving a resort, it's always uh, pristine. So today is our final day here. So we're gonna enjoy it today and then we're gonna leave. Thank you both for coming and choosing us to spend your holidays. Okay. It means a lot to us. Thank you because once you come here, you make us to provide for our family. So we really appreciate you guys. Oh. Beautiful purpose. Thank Hope you. to see you again. Thank, thank you, you so much. to all the team members and oh. their breakfast morning. Okay. And some of the fish attendants. Okay. Okay. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. We want to thank the staff again for a wonderful trip. Thanks for watching, guys. Next up is how to enter Anguilla. And until next video, love yourself, love others, and gratitude for everything under the sun. So, listen, one of the things we want to talk to you about is like getting here because um, there is like four steps to get here because of the COVID environment that we're living in right now. So first, you gotta be fully vaccinated. Um, secondly, you gotta get a PCR test done at your home country. And you wanna do that two to five days. Um, the requirements are always changing, but right now, two to five days before your arrival date, then you can apply for an entry permit to enter. Now, that one is important because you, you need to give yourself time for their approval. So that one maybe, what, maybe two days before maybe? Yeah, but minimum one day before, but at least two days because it, it does take at least a day. So don't just show mm -hmm. up at the airport and think you can do it on, on arrival. <laughs> you need one 24 hour period. Yes, so you can do that and then once you get that, um, now once you travel here, once you arrive, you also got to do a PCR test on arrival. They do it right there for you on the spot. Oh yeah, <laughs> and um, you cannot roam the island until you get the results from your PCR back. You're not confined to your room, you can actually walk about the hotel, you can go to the restaurants. If your hotel's on a beach, you can go to the beach. You can't go, they told us we could not go to the spa or the gym. Right, right. So they give go to the restaurants, eat. <laughs> yeah, they gave us a ban. So once we got our results, it was actually less than 24 hours. They had said 24 hours. We got it less than 24 hours. And then you can remove your ban and then you can freely roam the island. Freedom by. <laughs>